Welcome to some broken ass headphones. These are the Alpha Dogs. And they're not broken in any sort of physical sense, but they're broken in some sort of mystical way, sort of like the Necronomicon would do. Because usually before I do a headphone review, a final, I do a final listen session where I sit here and Fatama there is just like, boom, boom, all right, next track, I wanna hear that, all right, next track. And I can't do it with these. I can't just switch to the next track. Every track I put on just stays on. Not for you. And it, uh, that's weird. Because I am a very impatient person when it comes to music. Maybe, maybe one out of seven times I listen to a song, I'll listen all the way through. I don't know if, what, if there's a medical condition that that is, but that's what it is. And with these headphones... I'm like, all right, I want to hear, you know, I want to check out, I want to try to, you know, remember, I've been having them for like weeks and I've been on and off with different headphones around the room and it's like, I now I want to hear what they sound like again and I just can't change the track. So that's what these headphones are doing. They make you interested in your own music. Now, like the Alpha Primes, which were probably, yeah, definitely the best closed cans I've ever heard, of course, well, the most expensive closed cans I've ever heard. Uh, these are phenomenal cosmic powers. Itty bitty living space. Too bad they're not red. When I think of alpha dogs, I think of red. And uh, these have a nice finish. Oh, you want to do build? All right, we'll do build. Maybe we'll do build. Uh, they're the same as the alpha primes, pretty much, in build. It's the it's standard... Where's my uh, doggies? There's my dogs. There are my dogs. Same Fostex top, only this one's flat and this one's rounded. I think the leather strap is thicker on the Alphas. And they change, obviously the Mr. Speakers changes out the entire cup. You gonna yawn? Too bad. To a 3D printed cup. So again, impossible shapes are in here compared to like a normal headphone. Or a normal headphone, they build a cup, they three, they plastic mold it, and they stick a driver in it. Where this cup is built a millimeter at a time. It's just printed out in a hot plate, and they can put a gap, or they can put no gap, or they can put a, a weird labyrinth inside of it. Whatever they need to do to make sound go. And it works. And these are on sale right now for $500. And if you don't buy the... If you're looking for closed headphones with a budget between 0 and 501, Bob and you don't buy these, you've made a mistake. Because I could talk about the PSBs and the MSR7s and all those $300-ish closed cans, and none of them will hold a candle of these. Well, they'll hold a candle, but it'll be a very dim candle. They almost are too sibilant. I will, I, let's, let's get that out of the way. Because sometimes somebody says something in a song or there's an instrument and it gets way up there and it's like, ugh, ugh, and then it goes away and it's fine. So if you're really treble sensitive, you may want to think about that before you invest in a set of these. I mean, but I, I, I don't like when treble is harsh. I could live with it if I know that I'm... You know, I'll live with it if, if 3% of my music will be harsh at some point, but 97% of it will make me orgasm constantly. Then I will live with it. Cat. So, $500. You want to hear me compare to the Alpha Primes, and I can't, because those were months ago. I don't have them here, and it's all going on memory. But from what I can compare to the Mad Dogs and the Mad Dog Pros, which I only had recently... Uh, yes. Don't if you're looking at Mad Dog Pros for three seventy. Mad Dog Pros are three eighty, so these are two eighty, two eighty, two seventy. And the Pros are three eighty. Just say, just you know, I don't know how you got to make the money. Just save some up and get a set of these instead. These have the uh, double cable. It's the exact same connection that was on the Mad Dog Pro, only now you got two. Yay! Nothing like 
convenience. And it, I don't I don't hate it. It actually is a better angle. The Mad Dog Pro was sort of way out there. And sort of threw the balance of it off. It was one side and stuck out. So I'm okay with two. It's also not as nice a cable as came on the Alpha Primes. I haven't used the dumb cable yet, which is their higher end dumb. Thank God they called it that. They have a little bit of humor. A little bit of shit humor going on. Also, for comfort, somehow the printed ones with the different that aren't these are more comfortable than those, even though they're the same pads, the same head strap. It's just these are more comfortable. I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah. So detail. Let me tell you why you like why you're gonna love these. It's in the detail. A Back to the Future 2 soundtrack song came up. Because, of course, I have that. And, uh, where was it? Which one was it? It was Alternate 1985. And if you look down here at the Waveform Seek Bar, it is hyper quiet. Just, you know, there's, there's... It's just very, very, very quiet. And it's an orchestral piece, so there's an orchestra involved. And with these on, as soon as I started, oh, this song was going to be too quiet. I was going to hit next. And then that thing happened where I couldn't hit next because I heard someone rustling the pages of the notes. Like in the background. Like they were, they put on the, like, because when they go to mix like a live concert, there's, a, you know, 35, 40 people all with violins and trumpets and drums. And there's all these microphones. And the microphones are pretty much on. You have to be real quiet. And I could hear when people were fucking up and not being real quiet. And I listened to the entire thing. And it's just like you could hear instruments in one microphone that they're definitely not supposed to be in. It was amazing. So that's what the Primes did. If I'm remembering correctly, the Primes, I said, ruined half your playlist. And I think that's still the case here where things that are recorded brilliantly just are. Just are. And things that have recording errors are fucking noticeable. Just, god damn it, whoever the hell. Can't think of any specific things, but Rob Dugan, terrible recording quality on him. Uh, I'm powering him today with the own X1S, which I will uh, state again as a full combo unit. If I had to choose the O2O deck that I just reviewed, or this, it would be this. Even though, to push these at, like, my fa preferred volume, I'm at 3 o'clock. And to make sure I'm not, like, uh, am I pushing it too hard? I hook the Burson up, the Burson Lycan to the line outs of this, and I hook my little switch box up, and sure enough, very little difference. So I was, at, you know, 3 o'clock on this, 10 o'clock on that, flipping the switch, headroom was fine, this was fine to power it. So they are not easy to drive. But if you have a high quality amplifier or a high power amplifier, you'll be fine. You know, the it, it the problem comes when you try to push them on something that's strictly USB power. Audio Engine D1 here. Only USB powered. Micro Origin, only USB powered. Although it'll it'll get there, it'll get there, but it's it's just on the line. That's the line is like the Origin and the D1. You really want more. VOE 10K, don't. Don't. SC793, do, because that again plugs into the wall. But this is the one I took out for my final listening test on it. It's so black. Everything is so black. Now, soundstage. For closed, excellent. Vocal clarity, excellent. 10. What advantages does the Prime have over these? I don't remember. I don't remember. Look at the prices and the sale that's going on. These are you know, chopped down $500. The Primes are $800. I can't fathom what the $300 is going to give you. If I had them here right now, if I had the Primes here to, to just compare, maybe. But even... You gotta understand, I am the audio realist, so I could look at $300 and say, oh, this will buy me, you know, literally food for two weeks. 
maybe three weeks if you're real stingy. Nah, two weeks. I like to eat. And uh, you could buy the you could buy momentums. You could buy v these, and instead of the primes, these and momentums, or these and X2s, or these and an in and the entire own. You could buy this instead of these and the these in prime form. So that's a big leap, three hundred dollars. And I can't, for the life of me, remember how how much better the primes could possibly be than this. So there you go. People who like to hear me just gush about a headphone, happy birthday and Merry Christmas. I didn't scuff that, did I? No, I'm better than that. Fling them over my head. Is that a port? Or is that for wires? What is that? Huh, there's a hole there. Might've been when they were gonna put wires in and they didn't and now it's in the thing and the stuff. Oh, cause they're underneath instead of over the thing. Okay. Yeah, bass is solid. Treble, nearly sibilant, just nearly. Just like my 2000Xs get up there and they, they the 2000Xs stop, but closed headphones are harder because you're keeping everything inside. Oh, another reason that the detail is so insane and I could hear people rustling their notes and adjusting their instruments before they play is because they're closed. Let's look at all the headphones I reviewed, the expensive good ones that are like recently. 2000Xs are 70s. A Your mama's backing up. HC600s, all open headphones. And open headphones are great for soundstage and realism, but you know what? They're open. And when you close a headphone, you trap all that sound in there. And it's very hard to make them sound natural. So the fact that these still do, and then on top of that, all those little minute sounds are amplified because that screeching car noise and beeping and fans and unless you're locking yourself in a um god damn it i have the word parabolic eq no paramet no fuck one of those brooms with the spiky foam things anechoic chamber unless you put on headphones open headphones and sit in an anechoic chamber you're gonna hear things are gonna get lost so when you trap them in a closed headphone a very good closed headphone that's when you hear them. That's why recording studios use closed headphones. Even if they are the M50s, where are you hiding? Bastards. There. Even if you're the M50s or the Yamahas, the MT220s, they're closed for that reason. They're closed so they shut everything else out, trap everything inside, and then let you analyze it. And these do that in a way that's better than all the other ways. All right. All right, they're done here now. We're done. We're done with these alphas. Nice, I like that little tag. Like you get in an Italian suit. They're a little bit, the wires are a little bit too long for my awesome foam block technique. So it ruins it. There you go, problem solved. Uh, links in the description to buy these and this if you want to knock at the primes and get one of these instead which i recommend let's go now